So I've configured our um, system for testing and uh, we're able to successfully execute the tests and 64 tests has passed. But many times we want to run uh, tests uh, repeatedly and uh, for instance to analyze program timing or something like that and then uh, collect the results and uh, visually display them in a graphical format. And Python's a great tool for that. So uh, let's uh, go ahead. You will see that in the test directory there actually is a Python program called SSN test that actually will run the uh, um, unit test uh, will then um, um, latch on to the uh, third to last line of the output, it'll collect the output and then uh, the third to last line contains the results uh, and it splits it apart into passed, failed, skipped and blacklisted numbers and presents a bar graph um, in graphical format to uh, um, plot the test results. And um, uh, we have to, uh, before we can run this, uh, as you can see there is no Python interpreter configured. Um, so let's uh, go ahead and actually configure a uh, uh, Python interpreter. So we can go here to uh, File and then Settings. And uh, then you'll see here under Build, Execution, Deployment, there's uh, um, a uh, entry for the Python interpreter. Right now there's no interpreter set. And um, so we can um, um, add one by just saying OK, Show All, and there are no interpreters configured right now at all. Um, so we're going to add one. And uh, now we have a choice of creating uh, possibly a virtual environment, which is useful for some content management systems, for instance, like uh, uh, like Flask or uh, you know, the uh, the other um, uh, that that uh, fairly elaborate configurations that may actually conflict with each other. So, but uh, let's uh, go ahead and uh, actually um, work with the system interpreter because we're going to uh, install. Um, an additional package that uh, we will need pretty much everywhere. And uh, here you see that it uh, automatically defaults to the system interpreter that uh, we have installed earlier. Uh, if uh, this doesn't show up in uh, your case, you uh, should be able to uh, point to it um, uh, manually. But let's go ahead and do that. And then uh, we see uh, when we hit OK here now, that uh, we have an interpreter available for us, and uh, then we can install, uh, install additional packages um, and uh, uh, that we uh, may need for us. And in our particular case, we need a um, uh, plotting library, and it's, this thing is called matplotlib, and uh, we can add packages here by just saying plus, and then actually search for it. This uh, actually goes to the uh, Python package uh, repository and uh, we can put in mat plot lib and uh, we see here that we uh, do get the uh, matplotlib uh, base library and uh, we can install the uh, package and once this is uh, done Go. Package was installed successfully, and uh, as you can see, it installed a couple of other um, uh, uh, libraries dependencies uh, on top of that, and uh, which is fine. But now we are uh, set up in terms of Python, and uh, now we can actually uh, run the uh, Python module. But we're not going to do this in the source directory because uh, the source directory. Um, stays clean and the executable is in the build directory. So the build directory is right here, CMake, build, debug, and let's go ahead and open that up. And here in the test subdirectory, we have it configured so that the Python um, program is uh, uh, installed in, along with the executable. So we have this right here, and uh, we can uh, right click on that and uh, say, okay, we can run this, but we want to first create a um, uh, configuration for this. So let's go ahead here and say create SSN test, and uh, all the um, uh, default parameters should be good. We have the system, Python interpreter, um, no additional parameters or anything like that, and uh, we can say okay. And uh, now we have the uh, um, 
uh, Python um, module uh, here that is configured for run. So we can hit run on this one. And now Python actually executes the tests and then produces a bar graph of past, failed, skipped, and blacklisted tests. So, and uh, this is, uh, uh, as I said, very useful when you do uh, program timing set analysis and you will have um, or encounter um, uh, several assignments uh, around this where you have to plot something. And this is how to set up the system to do this.